We at Always Ross will always make your online shopping easy and fun. You get what you like with just a few clicks and taps on your mobile whenever you wish. And when you buy festive and casual ethnic wear garments online, you'd love to have them properly fitted. The online alteration service may entail some efforts from your side, like taking measurements and filling up the details in an online form. Hence, during the checkout process, you may choose the size customization alteration service along with it. The convenience of getting the perfect fit without even stepping out make these services totally worth it. The final fit of your garment depends upon the accuracy of the measurements that you provide, so it is extremely important to send the right dimensions. So here are the general guidelines for taking the measurements with higher accuracy. If possible, stand in front of a mirror so you too can monitor the process and ask someone for help. Stand straight, comfortably, don't suck in your stomach, keep your arms hanging loose on the side, and tie your hair up. We prefer the measurements taken using an inch of uh, measuring tape. So holding that snugly over the body, not too tight or too loose will give you the perfect fit. Now wear a similar garment if you're taking measurements for sari blouse, then it is better to wear a thin dress or sari blouse that fits well. And a regular bra underneath while taking the measurements also works. Now your comfort level depends, varies from people to people. Some prefer loose fitted garments while other prefer extremely tight ones. So keep a margin with the measure tape accordingly um, so you can get the perfect fit. As you follow the above guidelines and the steps properly, your measurement details will be accurate which will reflect on the final fit of your outfit. So wait no more, get your measuring tape ready and let's get started with the measurements. So one of the most important things when you're buying a langa is measuring your blouse properly. So in this video, we'll be showing you how to measure the blouse and we'll be taking all the measurements in inches. And there are 11 steps to note while we're taking the measurements of the blouse. So let's start with number one, which is the upper bust. Place the measuring tape on the mid of your upper back at the level of your underarm and wrap the measuring tape around right above the fullest section of your bust over here. Next, number two, is the bust itself. And for this measurement, you want to wrap the measuring tape around the fullest section of your bust, just like this. And you can adjust accordingly. And number three is under the bust. So measure the bottom slightly above the waist and below the bust, and this is usually the end of the blouse, so make sure you take the measurements all the way around if you want to end at a certain length. So just like that, make sure you go all the way around and take the measurement of under your bust. Number four is the shoulder width. So to measure the shoulder, place the measuring tape at the back in a straight line from the end of the left shoulder right here to the end of the right shoulder right there. And number five is the armhole circumference. So for this part, you have to keep your arms at your side and relax just like this and place the measuring tape across the top of your shoulder right here and wrap the tape around the arm over the end of the shoulder to form a straight line. Now this can get a little tricky, so make sure it's vertically just like that. And next is number six, sleeves around mid arm. Now this measurement actually determines how broad the sleeve should be trimmed. Therefore, it is very important that the measurements from here should be accurate. So let's start with maintaining a relaxed posture with your arms by your side and then wrap the measuring tape over the bicep of the fullest and the widest point, just like this, and take your measurement for that, just like that. Number seven is sleeve length cap, short elbow, and full. So this measurement of any sleeve length is the same. You just have to place the measuring tape at the shoulder's edge. So start with your shoulder edge, and if you want the full sleeve, go all the way down. If you want three-fourths, which is my personal favorite, right around there. And if you want elbow length, right around there, just right on top of your elbow. 
And then if you want like a shorter capped sleeve, then right around there would be a perfect length. Next is sleeves around. So once the length is measured, measure the circumference of your arm from where the length ends. So just like this, to wrap the measuring tape around the wrist if you want the full length. So just like that would be the measurement of your wrist. Now if it's a full sleeve, you wanna go a little further down. If it's three fourths, you wanna go a little bit up and then that's how you would take that measurement. Next is the blouse length. So begin from here. This is the center of the shoulder. Draw a straight line down where you want the blouse to end. So just like that and make sure the measuring tape is in the center of your bust. Um, and just like that, if you want it a little longer, go a little down. If you want it a little more up, then just right there and it would be a perfect length. And next is the back neck depth. So to measure the depth of the neck, start at the top of your shoulder at the neck point over here and draw the measurement down diagonally to make a half V to the middle of your back and then determine how deft you want it. I usually like it pretty deep, so for me it's right here, but if you want a shorter V neck, right there would be a perfect length. Last but not the least is the front neck depth. So for the front neck depth, you want to begin at the top of the shoulder right at the neck point and draw the measuring tape diagonally to the middle of the chest. So if you want it till here, you want the neck to be this deep, then this is the point where you want the measuring tape to be. And if you want it a little short, uh, whatever works the best for you, but that's the final measurement and that will give you a perfect size blouse for your next event, whatever it is that you're going to. So now that you've taken measurements for your blouse, next is taking the measurements for your langa. We'll start off with the waist. So to measure your langa waist, take the tape around the waist at the level from where you'll be wearing the langa from. So if you like to tie it around here, just go all the way around and take the measurement of your waist just like that. Next is to measure your hip level. So place the tape around the fullest part below your waist, usually at seven inches from the waist, and make sure the tape is parallel. So the fullest part would be right around here and take the measurements just like that. And last but not the least is the length of the langa. This to me matters a lot. So start where you'll be tying your langa and take it all the way down. So if you like to wear heels with your langa, you probably want to take the measurements with the heels. But if you like to just wear langas without heels, then make sure you take the measurement without the heels on. But start from where you'll be tying your langa and take it all the way down. And that will give you a perfect length for your langa. And those three things should give you your perfect langa for your next event. Now, if you're buying a gown, you want to take the measurements slightly differently. So you want to start from right around here near your shoulders and go all the way down. That's how gowns usually are. And if you like to wear your gowns with heels, make sure you're wearing your heels when you're taking the measurements. And if you like to not wear heels with gowns, then make sure you take off your heels. But you want to start off here and take the measurements all the way down. That's all from us today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out our collection at Always Ross. The link is in the descriptions below and I will see you at our next video.